Hey guys, so we are back to do another video. Mm. Yep. I don't like my lips. So white. Why? Okay, did you have this on? Yeah, just nude. So if we came visiting, if it's been a while we made a video. It's been a sure, long right? while. Really I made long. a video, she made a video, yeah. we made a video. <laughs> so you're back again to do something we don't even have an idea what we're doing. Let me tell you guys something real okay. quick. The reason we decided to do this particular video right now is because we got Pringles. Yay! And drinks. <laughs> so and I started be, eating my. So it's gonna be Pringles mug bank. What does that mean? I don't know. Basically, let's say we got, so we got two types of Pringles. The original. That is my Pringles. So um, we said to make a video, as we said, and we had no idea what we we're gonna talk about, but. We wanted to make it with uh, something. We're not going to eat. As yeah, we eat. Make the video, yeah, like so you all remember the other one we did, like the, the chicken, chicken from the rice. Yeah. And I think so many persons were really appetizing on the video. They wanted to eat. So we got Pringles this time. And then this is cheddar and onion flavor. I don't even know which one. This one. This is one just... is original. This is okay, like... this is just original, and I love this one. I don't like any other one that tastes like what I don't. I know. am trying this one. <laughs> then we got Fanta. I got Fanta. <laughs> I was hungry. Hers is almost done. Even without starting the video, she has finished her stuff. Oh no, really? <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to drink mine, even though it's not cold. Okay, so this, you all, everybody knows what Pringles looks like. But well, let me show you anyway. I've eaten mine, like, not up to half, but I'm, I'm yet to there. open. I'm yet to open mine, so mine is still. <laughs> <laughs> you won't even taste one. Uh -uh. <laughs> so mine is still unopened. Then um, let's open it. While Evie thinks about what we're going to talk about. Oh, you guys. Or oh, should I just tell her we? No, I don't want to stand over. <laughs> what are you starting again? Like yeah, yeah, that's fine. Hers is fuller than mine. But you finished your. I mean, I mean, mm. I'm not at the So nothing. salty. Kidding me right now? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a teeth. <laughs> Okay, so you want to taste? I'm going to taste dress and it's not sweet. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's so crazy. So, okay, guys. Hello, welcome back to our channel. What is the news? What guys? is happening, guys? <laughs> so, you already know Noya Richie and I. That's right. I mean, who can just not know my name? I mean, everyone knows my name. Everybody knows you. her name. So, um, I told you guys we definitely didn't have anything to talk about, but then as we were eating our Pringles and our Fanta, I think an idea just clicked and we decided boom. to do that. So, Eva, so, can you tell us what we have to talk yeah, about today? Yeah, we to you guys about what they didn't tell you about coming to Lagos. In other words, we could just tag it like Lagos leaving, like leaving in Lagos generally. So, all the hard parts, you guys. This like, is so salty. Hmm. I think just I'm not hungry for it or something. Let me hold it for you. No! <laughs> okay, you guys, so we'll be talking about what they did not tell you about coming to Lagos. Hashtag Lagos living. You know, everybody it's, wants to come to Lagos, to Lagos but they don't yeah. really know everybody, what is happening here. Yeah, everyone wants to come to Lagos, and Lagos people are encouraging you come to Lagos, although they've actually started saying don't come here. Exactly, because some of them crowded. are still not leaving. Like, some of them, they, they, they get scared of coming here. They, they're like, Lagos is somewhere I'm not coming. Like I cannot live in Lagos. I don't know how you guys, you know, um, do it. Do it. But I mean, we've stayed in this place for almost up to a year, year. and we still even want to stay more after the I'll year. Be here, I'll be here after seven. <laughs> that and means you are strong. My mom is one of those people that says she can't even live in Lagos. Really? Like, it's so. It's actually really stressful. Like, like Lagos is like heaven to my mom. Really? Like, she's always very proud to tell her friends, "Oh, my daughter is seven in Lagos, or she stays in Lagos because I don't know why." But uh, Lagos is just like Lagos. Mm. So, guys, we're gonna be telling you guys. Words they didn't tell you about Lagos by with a very few points of ours. We actually wrote stuff down. So okay. That we won't get any stuff. So the very right. first thing is the accommodation. Oh my god, I think I have to leave this one for Amy to just tell us because I think she has a whole lot of stories to tell us about that. Probably have... because it's it's not really complicated for me. So I came oh, to Lagos. Yeah. I'm um, actually I stayed at the mainland because Lagos they have the island and the mainland for those of you that have stayed here. So before I came to the island, I stayed for three months on the mainland, and trust me, it was so three crazy. Months. Yes, three months. Three months, man. Wow. I think I stayed yeah up to like close to three months on the mainland, and it was so crazy. If you see how I was jumping bike. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my god. It's crazy, you guys. It's like... not like just jumping back. Like it's like you're driving, like your bike, and then there's traffic here on this road. Like let's say there are two roads here. There's traffic here. 
and then the bike man will tell you to come down so that he will carry the bike across to the and plane then you and then you will, you will climb it's crazy <laughs> and I was like oh like, my god this, uh, this guy, is not for me this guy is <laughs> they not for make me. you whenever you step out of your house it's like your heart is actually in your mouth I swear like, you're so scared of I you swear, get to like you have to be strong for you to be living in Lagos. By the way, that's actually Lagos mainland too because it's a little bit different from the island. So accommodation, I think I'll have to leave her today because I bet my girl has passed through the whole accommodation thing. I'm so sorry. Girl. Well, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, I think I'll do another video about the whole accommodation yeah, thing. Yeah, thank you guys for those stories, but mm -hmm. but for now. It's been crazy, you guys. Like, I can't even talk about it here. But you have to talk about it, girl. You, you know, have to tell wait, us a little me, bit. But I'll definitely tell you. A little bit of like accommodation. Of how it has been, right? I'll definitely tell you if you're coming to Lagos, my dear, have where you're coming to stay. Exactly. Um, my own, my, I won't call it a mistake because when we got posted to Lagos, okay, it's not so I was expecting to be posted. Everybody to Lagos, wants so. to be posted to Lagos, but we don't even know where we are going to stay. Exactly. Thankfully, I have a very good friend, Andre. Andre, God he's bless such you. A good guy, man. He's such a good guy. That like guy he hooked me guy. up with like, several of his friends. Who he's such a me. good guy. Andre still helps me finding a photographer. I like, remember when I wanted to do the BBN and Nanja audition thingy. Yeah. He helped me to photographer. He's just such a good guy. Andre, we love you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, accommodation is like really crazy. If you are coming, you have to have where to stay. And Lagos people will not tell you when you are coming, mm. have where you are staying. They, they don't even tell you that at all. They won't even tell you. They just say come to Lagos. Sometimes they even promise that you come and stay with them. But when you get them idea, if you don't have another place, like I'll just say have two options for where you want to stay. Okay. So that you know that if this one there's an issue mm -hmm. with this, your one place you can mm -hmm. easily switch to the other. Because like I've literally lived. I also lived on the mainland. I was in Yaba. Okay. Well, oh yeah, but it's so crazy. Yeah, but it's crazy. <laughs> like, I don't even know whether someone knows mine. Mine was a blushing. Have you heard of that place? No. It's close to the first tag, by the way. It's actually oh, close okay. to the first tag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's my uncle's place too. So I, I literally went from there to work at the VI like almost every day. That's crazy. Sometimes like... I go home like night ten. Oh. Right now, I, I my still get home not good like nine, nine thirty. My body's not when good for that stress. Traffic. So like. You have to have where you're staying, that's number one. So now I stay on the island with my uncle, thankfully. Mm -hmm. uh, VGC. So, yeah, guys, you guys will be spending my VGC estate tour. You see it very soon. So, that's the I'll just say if you're coming, you should have where you're coming to stay. Mm -hmm. Their yes. prices are hillarious. They, they have talking about are millions crazy. and millions of naira. Depend, depending on where you want to stay. Okay, so if you want to get accommodation, like, I heard houses on the mainland are cheaper than the island. Yeah, it's very cheap. Yeah, and then if you want to stay on the island, there are people that prefer the island because of less stress, obviously, yes. you know, better jobs and stuff. But if you want to stay on the island, you know, you'll be budgeting. If you are looking oh, at the no. self con, the self con like, that you can be like, let's say, 100,000, possibly, or 200. In Lagos, budget to 5,300. What is 250? They just put 300 mm -hmm. plus. No, 250, 300. That's the rent man. And that's all like the agency fees. small house. So and that's small a very self small house. Very small house. It's crazy. It's, it's, even, it's crazy to be stranded. I can remember, like, even though I was here, I mean, I'm a copper, I got like few calls from people asking me, hey, Noye, um, can my friend stay with you for some days or can I stay with you? And then, you know, I'm living with my uncle, so it's not really my house. No, so I wasn't difficult. in a very good position to, you know, help them. So Lagos living is something else. Expensive for people like us. For now, okay. it's not. It's not like it's just for like now, temporary. For now, for now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, then the next. For the next thing one we have traffic. <laughs> that would have been like the first thing we were talked about. That would have been the first thing. Like, everybody knows Lagos and traffic. Everybody knows Lagos. No, but like, we don't have stress for traffic. Mm -hmm. when, when you are coming to Lagos, they tell you about the traffic. We all know about the traffic. Okay, I think so. I think you they do that. Traffic, they do yeah. that, but then we we still need to tell you guys what you guys don't know. Or maybe didn't when you are in Lagos traffic. They make you feel as if you should hold your heart in your hand so that you won't die. <laughs> Especially if you jump bus like me. I don't like, know. Probably they should bring like plane or something. Any little stuff we could use on the air because the roads are no more. You can't pass the roads. Like the roads, it's the not roads accessible like, anymore. Uh, and then even the the roads, like there are roads and then there are paths where buses drive. I swear. <laughs> I swear. And then Lagos is like really big, huge, like large. But even at as at that, there is still no road. Like let's say you you close work from five o'clock before you get to the house, hmm? before you get to the house it can take like three to four hours on the road because Especially of the traffic. Especially if the traffic is heavy, and then on the ah. days you are lucky and then traffic is light, mm -hmm. you can get to the house by like seven if you left by five. It's crazy. <sighs> it's crazy. I so mean, that's I think that's why mostly people don't really like don't coming really to Lagos because they don't want to stay here because they can't traffic. deal. Yeah, I think I have friends that 
come visiting and then when you ask them why, why you not staying in Lagos or why don't you want to stay in Lagos they said they can't deal with the traffic because it's just something else you see people don't even stay in their house mm. they just stay in the house they just sleep the situation where you go to work by uh, is it 8 or 7 let's say yeah, 7 o'clock mm-hmm. you go to work by 7 o'clock you come back by 10 the next morning you're out again by seven. I mean, what time do you have? If it's for married people, what time do they have for their for their kids and all? So and it's just crazy. And then some people's workplaces that actually far, like she works in VI and oh, stays in, in VGC. And VGC so. Let's say if there's no traffic, you can get to VI from VGC in like forty-five minutes. Uh, let's then say when there's though. okay thirty. Yeah. Okay. Because okay. I try to do that like in the morning, and I try to leave here five thirty from VGC. And I drive to she work by six by o'clock. 30. That's crazy. That's like years ago. Like now, I go to work by ten o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and this, this speech is trying to be retained. This one should ask her why she leaves for work only. So Today is Saturday, guys, and I didn't go to She's work. She's supposed I mean, to be I at work. I'm, I'm so sorry. I can't do it anymore. Please. <sighs> Girl, I don't know what I am so lazy. I can just just can't deal with working almost every day. I understand. I mean, that's why I just she, she's get my like, stuff like myself, we are the kind of people know? that that we we create our own schedule. You know, we work oh, from home. Okay. So this whole service thing just made us work for other oh, people. And really? yeah, the experience is what is, but still something else, man. Travel is travel is something Except you need when to experience you yourself. Enter the, as in, when you enter the bus, that there are no no win, no windows or anything. Oh, it was just pray you don't there are no people. windows in the bus, but there's no AC. But talk about Uber. We didn't even talk about the fact that you want to order Uber or taxi fine. Okay, wait. Traffic let's even, let, no, let's give you. Okay, if you don't want to jump bus, there's actually the option of Uber or taxi fine. That's from um, cabs that take you from place to place. And then, yeah, you spend more on them. But you spend, there my time, dear. There was a time I was in traffic for like over three hours. How much did we? I left work at like eight. I left work by seven. Where to where? From where to where? From, I work in Lekki Phase One, okay. and then I stay in Badore. So that's far. If on a normal day with no traffic, you can get back and forth in like 45 minutes. Okay. So that day, I, I closed from work by 7. And then I stood outside. I couldn't find a bus mm-hmm. to take me to. Because you take straight to Aja. Okay. From Lekki. I couldn't find a bus. I stood outside that day till like for an hour. I stood for an hour. Jeez. Then I, I just called. I just had to call Taxi We were in traffic for like three hours. How much did you get? The trip, was, the trip was, was. I was thinking the trip would be up to 10k. I swear. I think sometimes <laughs> it happens though. It happens. When you stay for a long time, you'll be surprised about how your, your bill. But do you know what? Guess the bill. Please tell me. The no, bill guess. Just I guess. Even, I don't know. <laughs> just guess. Let me see. Let's see. Um, let's see. First, that should be like 6, 7k. I want it. <laughs> I was so shocked. Like, oh my god! I, I, told, I told the cab driver. I hope the bill. Are you sure it's not wrong? I pay one thousand eight hundred. But do you know something? I got to find out that the longer I stay in traffic, the yeah. less your bill is. The longer I stay in traffic, the less your bill. Really? Yes. Like the measure in kilometers. Really? Yeah. I oh. think I, I had a talk with one of the uh, tax taxify guy, and okay. he's like, oh, waiting without driving, it's not adding up. Oh. Yes, they measure in kilometers. One kilometer, they measure oh. like that. So I think that's the problem. You wait so much in traffic, oh. it really doesn't do anything. So but when you're stops, driving, it actually stops recording for yeah, that time. And yeah, yeah, you just record like small, small, small. I was shocked. I was like, <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, yeah but it's when he's okay. driving. Probably when you drive from here to the mainland, that's mm-hmm. when he's recording because it's kilometer. The kilometer is a long mm-hmm. distance. So you have so to. You have options. You can do the bus thing. You can do yeah. bike. They have taken a pep. Everyone that comes to Lagos for the first time wants to take Uber or taxi fine for the first one. One week they are done with it. I did not when I came there was, there was no plan for any Uber because for one, I, didn't, I didn't have a source of income. Oh so there God. was no plan for any Uber. Crazy. Uber will be do you know how much it takes for people still Uber do for that. Some people still people, do the Uber people who, are, who like actually have they are steady people that are steady income and all. Yeah, they yeah, they yeah. use the Uber and the taxi. This one we have is feeding. Oh I'm just thankful to my workplace, like my PPA where I work. They give us breakfast and then they give us lunch lunch like varies from every kind of food yam rice and everything and that's basically it so after work i can come back and not eat anything to the next day so that's actually what saves me because from spending so yes much from feeding, spending right? so much on feeding because feeding here and then on the island is hard it's hard before you go and you see like a book car or you know that even around here the, re- the only restaurant you can see here or any fast food is just mega chicken which is just along this way if you think about it there okay yeah let's just okay, say so chicken republic chicken and, and mega, mega chicken, chicken. Like in Uyo, you have so many this thing probably around, but here it's very difficult. And even though you go there to buy food, they're also expensive. Very expensive. Yeah, except if you're living on the mainland, the mainland you can walk from here to here and see places you can buy. But food they do food. have they do have uh, places by the roadside where you can get food. Yeah, the only disadvantage the is there is there are many 
Or probably because I, I don't really go out and I stay in BGC. <laughs> so I don't you know don't go out. And BGC, you can't just step out like that because yeah, everywhere man. is so distant like, oh, no. from the, the main road. Yeah. So when they actually have places on the, on the, by the roadside where you can get food. It's just that this place, you really don't know whose food is so hygienic. Oh, yeah. And, so, and then you go to some place and see so many flies. So it's quite discouraging. And most of their the foods is just ambal and a do or whatsoever. I just can't deal. I think my problem with their soups is that. <laughs> mm. there's, a, there's a difference between home cooked food and then uh. just food cooked for the public but apart from that feeding is expensive you guys right now where i'm staying we don't cook in that house they don't even have gas oh my god they don't have the stove. <laughs> i eat out every single day oh, and yeah, my workplace yeah. they don't give lunch they don't give breakfast they don't give Aww. nothing so i'm literally spending like close to and because i eat little i'm spending like close to 1,000 naira per day on food and then you think about that for your salary and what they pay you when it's even up to that it's what it so it's just crazy. feeding you have to arrange your feeding you have mm-hmm. to be sure you'll be able to cover like the, if you want to buy groceries you know at okay. home and then cook that would be much easier for you otherwise no you'll be spending so much and if you're not earning so much and me that just like me, me that like eating everything i can possibly see i love all those ice cream yes, and the shawamas and this <laughs> i can just waste my money on these things like it's really a little bit expensive here yeah. Lagos okay. so uh, just be sure your feeding is covered and then if you want to eat really good you, you can, can consider shopping at ShopRite they have groceries there or you can consider affordable yeah they are affordable yeah, or you can affordable. consider doing um these delivery companies that deliver groceries to your house okay that's also an option or you can just go to the market there are go markets market. everywhere or you can also consider eating by the roadside eating by the roadside is actually cheaper than going to restaurants like chicken republic and mega chicken those ones their food are more expensive but by the roadside let's say you can get a plate of food with meat and complimentary mm. stuff for like 300 oh yeah the it, although chicken republic is also trying in dishing out all those small, small, all those small, small packages like but that their minimum meal is like 500 you have to make sure your feeding is covered as well before coming so what next do we have on the list Eh. okay so the next thing life is just hard here (laughs) life is just hard in lagos whether you live on the the island or you live on the mainland but seriously life is hard whether you have money People that have money are struggling to make more money so that oh, they won't they ever go up. back they to that up. unease and that discomfort of not having money. My is hard here, my dear. It is. I don't like, know. Sometimes you want to go out mm. and have fun, like normally. I mean, it's easy for you to just step out from your house, drive to wherever you're going to. But in Lagos, but if I you think of leaving your house, walking down to the estate, looking for a ride to take you to the junction, entering the bike, hot sun, Very hot, hot sun. sun, like it never rains in Lagos. Like it never rains, but like the hot sun. It rained last night. It rains like. Did it rain here? Yeah, it rained like, mm-hmm. like, like ten like minutes, like once, five minutes. You know that the blue so. Months in the, so, but then you're done thinking about all that. You just rest. Lagos is so stressful, man. It's so so stressful. stressful. Then, I mean, I'm so thin. I remember when when I was fat. You guys I remember that? Yeah, I am. Thin? I am so thin now. Like I've already. So you see. We do. Uh, <laughs> even AV. You don't even need to work out in Lagos, man. <laughs> you don't need to work out in Lagos. You don't need to hit the gym. You just you go you go down by you yourself. So I think I'm we are going managing. to expatiate on how hard life is in Lagos. Yeah. If you want to come to Lagos, please by all means. I'm not going to stop you, but I won't tell you not to come. I won't tell you to come, but if you want to come, please just get ready. Like just be ready. Know that it's, it won't be that easy, especially no. if you don't have everything set so up. So many people, so many people sleep under the bridge, ah. man. So many people don't have places to stay. Like sometimes I walk, I walk on the road, and I see people sleeping on the streets, people sleeping under the bridge, and all that. Like the number, of, the number of people that are actually on the streets. Can, sometimes can, I feel can, like it's can, more than the number of people that are in houses. That's what I wanted to tell you. Like it can contain a whole. Let's use Uyo. Sorry, Uyo. Sorry, it can contain a whole people living in Uyo. People that sleep outside like their homes. Mm. It's crazy. It's so overpopulated. It's everybody so overpopulated. wants to come to Lagos. Everybody wants to come to Lagos. I don't and know then why. another thing is, people come here seeking opportunities. One thing I've learned is, you don't just come seeking. Have Sometimes you have from... to come with your own opportunities mm. to make them big here. Yeah. Actually, because some people so. just think, ah, just come people, empty. people think they will just come to Lagos and make it. Even making it, it takes steps. It takes it like steps, levels. Man. You don't just land and then start and then getting start the thinking money. Of something, Sometimes yeah. you think like you think when you come, you know, you just meet one or two people, get the big jobs, and then you start raking in the money, raking in the cash. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't. So you have to understand take, that even if you are coming, it will take you yeah, it will take you time to build that reputation you are looking for. Yeah. All the big people you are following on Instagram, they didn't just it, get it, it there. Them, yes. Especially here in Lagos. Like talking, making I didn't know why I love her so much and I love her vlog. Mm. It took her like 
I remember when I was watching her videos, 2000 and 2000 and like when it took her like five to six years to build the to, the yeah, the perhaps, yeah, yeah. It took her like so many years to build her YouTube page. So I'm not really rushing, but I'm just trying. Mm. So it's not really easy. Not All really these easy. artists and everything you see, they started with something. So Lagos is just something else. Come try and look for connections and all, and then you. Blow. But then if you if you're actually coming with a lot of money, like if you let's say if you have a, those of us that have um, family money. Okay. And then if you know if you are coming to Lagos with like big money already in your bank account, you know yeah. you have where you stay, everything you. is set up, then you know you get it easier. Yeah. But we're actually coming to build the money from here. It's actually going to be cool. What is money? Transportation! Oh! <laughs> the amount okay, of money spent on transportation. I know people that spend up to one five a day on transport to the office to and fro. Do you know that there's a time I followed Jasmine to Oshodi? I think it's Oshodi. Oshodi is of mainland. For some of you that know where Oshodi is, we paid like uh, 250. Okay, let's say I paid 300. We paid 300 to Oshodi. 300, which is already much to Oshodi. Do you know why coming back? Do you know how much they requested from us? Is that so? Sometimes you will go and I hey, in the and night. I said I wasn't gonna pay mm. the first bus I no, saw because I thought sorry, I thought they were just asking for prices. I went to another place, another bus stop, still five hundred. Ha! That's like money with um, people from Rio pay from Rio to Eket. Okay, Cross some um, something like that, and it's not even the same distance. Oh God, it's so crazy. You guys literally like oh, okay. Let's say let's expensive. calculate. Transport to my workplace is actually cheap. I'm coming back, it could be the same thing. That's nine hundred naira on transportation alone. Like every day, every so single day. One thousand. I never want to talk about money. And then at the mine. end, at the end of the day, okay, let's just put it. At the end of the day, you're spending like twenty five k, twenty seven k on transportation. Then how much for a month? Then how much? Let's talk about how much they pay. Let's talk it's about It's crazy. That. Mine is, is, was a little bit okay, or is a little bit okay because you have staff buses that takes us to and fro. I mean, these guys understand the fact that traffic is something and transportation is something. So we have staff buses that take us to and fro from work. Bro. Okay, that, uh, okay, I think we've actually come to a semi end of yeah, this. Yeah, I think episode. that was a long, very long talk, mm, and um, we're done. I hope you guys have been able to pick up one or two things from the video. You know, so like, your comments, if you have comments, just drop them in the comment section and then let us know what you think. And are you, if are you haven't subscribed, are you interested in coming to Lagos? <laughs> <laughs> So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this particular video and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please, please hit the subscribe ahead. button and um, give this video a thumbs up. Alright guys, uh, bye! bye. bye.